Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is a quick reading for what lessons have you learned in your past relationships? What does your ex, what did you learn from that relationship? If you like your personal reading with me, that information is right there on the screen. Please hit like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. So let's get started. How could you ever forget the mess I've made? That is one. Why is it that you love me? That's the next. And we have no one understands me but you. Okay. So, <laughs> there's relationships here that your relationships have been teaching you. It's about you really loving yourself because you're asking, why, why is it that you love me? The question is, is that how is it that you love yourself? Again, if you're looking on the outer conditions for someone to tell you of your greatness, you've lost the message. No one understands me but you. But it's about you. That's again saying that I need somebody out there to understand me. But when you understand yourself, you don't need anyone on the outer. When you love unconditionally and when you let go of the control of other people needing to behave in a certain way or to understand in a certain way, that becomes true freedom from relationships. So how could you forgive the mess that I've made? Well, it's about bringing forgiveness because if you don't hang on to that resentment and if you don't bring forgiveness to yourself or to the other person you're truly not free from the experience then you were doomed to repeat it again so that love that you're seeking starts with you why is it that you love me it's like needing to know why do you love me i need to know so it's like needing that validation and why is it that you need that validation from the other person so that's a great question to ask yourself right so this question comes and says, know when it's time for a new one experiences. So how could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? Experiences, know when it's time for a new one. So it's either time for you to have a new experience with this repeating cycle or for you to really understand that it's just time for a new experience because you've been taking the time out to really get to know yourself. Why is it that you love me? We have freedom, independence. Again, what I was saying, individuality, soul, soul purpose, and align. Your purpose is to find that love within. It's not to have validation from somebody else to come and say, you're this and you're that and you're that. All that is for the ego. When you really love yourself and you're authentic in who you are and you come from your heart space and not from the mind, that question doesn't need to be asked because it just is. Is. We are in love and love is all there is. So you're bringing freedom to yourself by even asking that question. Because if you're asking that question, then you want to ask yourself, why is it that you love you? So this is freeing yourself what other people think about you. So I'm not saying go behave in an erratical, obsessive way. What I'm saying is freeing the other person for constantly needing to prove that love to you. No one understands me but you. Sleeping unawakened and unconscious. So... <laughs> Again, this isn't thinking, you know, we're both sleeping here. I need you to understand me. Again, it's coming from an unawakened, unconscious mind. I need to be understood. Where does that come from? Is a lack of understanding of self. So there's a lot of teachings here about experiences and freedom and becoming conscious when it comes to the matters of the heart, right? It's not about staying in a sleeping state or keep doing something or repeating something because you don't want to leave it. Let's grab some cards and it says, being alone brings self-transformation. Absolutely. This is when we really go within and ask those questions about how am I feeling about myself? Where are these experiences coming from? The present moment is in the present moment. Any traumas that come up is in the past. And when you bring them into the awareness of the now, you'll recognize they're just thoughts that you are experiencing. Let go of your attachments to love people and outer conditions. Freedom. Again, we're letting go of our attachments to love, to people in our outer conditions. That love that you're seeking is inside. So when we let go of how things should be and what we think it needs to be, those are based in conditional love. What you're freeing yourself is from that. 
is from anything that is based on conditions. And we have, if you can't spend time alone, you are a slave and not free. I love that because it's so true. If you can't be yourself and you can't love yourself where you are, then you're attached to the outer world. How is that freedom for you? You become a slave to other people needing to love you. How how do you love me? You know, then it comes to that question. So you become a slave to nobody understands me but you. But the question is, how do you understand yourself and your own needs and how maybe you put other people in coming and validating you. So these are a lot of questions for you to ponder on and to really go within different paths. And we have, you are not on the same page with the person you have in mind. The direction you want to move into are different. So it's again, in recognizing our patterns and why we stay in certain relationships. And it's about freeing yourself and not being a slave to the patterns, behaviors, and thoughts of the past and really acknowledging your own freedom. And that freedom lies by letting go of our outer attachment to the relationships. It's not the relationship that's gonna make you feel whole and desired. It's the relationship that you have with yourself. Next card is we have both tried to run from our love, but our souls crave this magic. I'm making my way back to you. So again, it tells me that there's a rinse repeat cycle that is happening in your relationships and not for all, uh, but you have both tried to run from it and the experience is if you are willing to self-transform and bring yourself to a state where you don't need your outer conditions, that outer love to, fi to, to fulfill <laughs> the inner love, then you have freed yourself and now you can try the relationship based on unconditional love rather than one that is conditioned. So let's go ahead and grab Twin Flames, your passion ignites. So, you know, that Twin Flame energy that is coming on here, again, that could experience the runner and the chaser, but that true Twin Flame is literally is mating with your own soul. So the masculine and feminine inside of you, the two holes of a person that makes a third party, not a half of a person, a half of a person that makes a whole because you're already whole. So it's in recognizing that and recognizing that flame, that passion that you're seeking, which is inside of you. You already are your own twin flame. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light.